Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back. Um, bit of an update with the tinny. Um, we had a few dramas, we went out and picked up the motor the other day and we had dramas with the trailer yet again. So I replaced the bearings and a lot on the trailer, but she went again. So there's the, um, there's the motor, we picked the, the ever reeled up. What a beast, haven't started it yet. But um, yeah. I've been assured it should start. It's been looked after, but it's just been in storage. So anyway, uh, the, the drama has first started when our little thing fell off, and the light board fell off the back, and these lights are no longer working. That side does, but this side doesn't. So there's a drama. Anyway, I've um, on the way home, the bearings failed. Yet again. It's the rear bearing on this one. Um, she failed. So, um, I don't know what's causing it. That one was fine. That one's failed. So I decided um, I'm going to replace the trailer. So, um, yeah, that, that's including, the, you know, not to worry about doing the lights and all that. So I saw, so, um, as I was looking at it, I was going to do just do the, I was just going to do the axle, put new hubs on. But then I realised that's all welded on, so I've got to, have to replace the suspension. Uh, the bigger tyres I'm going to put on it, well, this probably won't cut it, so I'll have to put new uh, mud guards on it. So the price starts to go up a little bit more. So, um, and as I was sourcing all this stuff, I realised it's going to be pushing a thousand bucks. So I'm not doing it that way. So, um, so I looked on the Facebook marketplace and found a tinny um, with a good trailer on it, a uh, six horsepower motor on the back, and they wanted $1,500 for it. So I went, oh, okay, that's not too bad. Um, I could use that tinny and put it on top of the camper. When I take a camping with the camper, I can um, take a tinny with me as well. So there you go, it's a win-win. And then I'll have a new trailer for old um, the Bob Marley there. That's right, we're naming it Bob Marley. But anyway, we'll do that in the reveal day. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow I've got to pick that up. I hope that that'll go well. A little bit disappointed with that trailer, but anyway, it is a break. So it's been sitting around for 25 years or something, that trailer. So, anywho, so that's the update. So I went and got my boat license the other day, past that. So I'm legally can go over 10 knots now. <laughs> So, we'll be able to get it and do some fishing. So, I'll give you an update when I get the trailer tomorrow. Oh, yes. So, we're going to put that back onto the trailer and get it out of the way. So, I've got the thing out already. I'll put that back onto the trailer just to give us more room. Okay. But I'm just, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if there's something wrong with that, that, um, that axle or what. But, um, yeah. Luckily we stopped because I stopped after we picked up the thing I stopped to make sure that we're about 10 minutes out or 5 minutes out of the um, out of, off from the farm after picking the motor up I thought oh, I better stop and just double check and see the motor's not swinging around all over the place and everything's sitting where it should be sitting and I noticed a bloody bearing so not happy about that so anyway so we'll have a, hopefully have a new trailer and a, another little tinny to play with I can go out and have a bit of a, a fish while I'm um, doing this boat up. Okay, all right. We'll, um, I'll update you tomorrow, I suppose. Cool.
that's tofu. So we just go and de click ever a couple of times. So I don't know what's going on there. Why it's not working now. I think it must be inside because it's down there and not there. Nope. Yep. That's another reason buying a new trailer, getting another trailer. This is going to take a lot of work to get done.